Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about customer refund. Let's go to SQL Customer Module Customer Refund. Click on it. Customer refund is actually when a customer made a payment to you instead of knock off with invoice, then customer requests a refund or customer pay you a deposit, then make a refund or customer have a credit note with no outstanding invoice to knock off and customer requests a refund. That means you are making payment back to customer. So this is called customer refund. And to create customer refund, just click on the new. Then select a customer. As you can see, when I type the customer name, the customer will appear. If one day when you type customer name, it will not appear, meaning that focus of searching is not under company name, it's under company name too, as you can see over here. So what you need to do is click on the tab key on your keyboard, click tab. The focus will jump to another column, then tab, tab, back to company name. Then you can key in the customer name. And once you key in the customer name, any outstanding or unapplied amount of official receipt, that means customer payment, or credit note, will appear over here. So example, this official receipt, customer have paid 10,000, maybe as a deposit. So now customer request for a refund of this 10,000. So what you can do is key the amount that customer want to refund, let's say 10,000. Okay, so you will refund to the customer using your bank or cash or whatever means, this is the credit side. Then let's say, you are using a check or online transfer slip, then you can put it under the check number. Then what you need to do is click on the official receipt that you want to refund. That means you do a knockoff on it, then click save. So of course, you can do attachment. That means create a link to a document for this refund. The system will actually create a link to that document whether it's a document or a picture, there's no problems because it's just a link. System will not put the document or picture into SQL accounting system. You can put in some notes also. So if okay, then you preview. So you can see that even though we are doing inside customer module, but we actually creating a payment voucher because you are paying back to the customer. So this is a payment voucher. So it will state that the payment voucher amount, that means the refund amount is 10,000, you will knock off with which official receipt. So you can print this out and give to your customer. So when you go outside, you can see that your customer refund will appear over here and at the bottom sections, it actually will show you the knockoff details. That means which in, uh, official receipt or credit note this refund will knock off, have been knocked off with. So it's very clear and easy for you to do searching. So just in case you have multiple customer refund. Okay, let's say there is another customer refund. Then you knock off with some of this. Change the amount to 2 and B, maybe knock off with this one. So if you have multiple refund, if you want to search for one uh, refund document, you can use any of this criteria. Maybe you type the number. If you cannot remember the number, you can make use of customer name and so on. Or you can just write like any column title, field chooser, pull out any field that available, let's say check number. And all this you can make use to do a searching. Or you can just click on the field that you don't want, drag, drop, put back, or right click the column title, remove this column. Another way is go to the left hand side, there is a small button with multiple line, then you can click on the field that you want, it will appear or untake it, it will disappear. So basically this is how you make use of customer refund in SQL accounting system. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.